one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six by nine? That's how much bread I need in 30 days? Fuck. Yo, what's up, everybody? We are back with another episode of Dab Craft. It's day four right now. If you don't know, in this series, we are playing hired core Minecraft in every night in game. We're gonna do uh, a new dab, another dab, another one. And I also play by a bunch of different special rules when I play Minecraft that make the game a little more challenging. That being, I don't kill non hostile creatures. So I play like as if I'm a vegan. If I find some pork on the ground somehow or, or an animal perishes near me, I'll use its meat to sustain me for sure. But I, I'm not feeding myself by murdering innocents. And then I'm also restricting what materials or what tools I can use based on my XP level. So right now I'm at level 8. Once I hit level 15, I'm going to upgrade to unlocking iron. The ability to forge iron and craft with it. And then level 30 will be diamond. So yeah, uh, let me do one more reheat and then let's load up a fresh dab. And then we're crafting. Crafting it up. Thank you to anyone who's watching, and extra thank you to anyone who dabs along with me. Cheers, everybody. Leave me a comment below what you're smoking or dabbing on today. Oh. Fucking Axolotl just murdered himself on top of our little farm right there. That's what I get for fucking up his habitat, damn it. Damn, I still have another reheat. So that people can still see the game while we're smoking. There we go. Dude, Afghan is a an amazing strain for sure. Any Afghani or anything that comes from that lineage, I've always really enjoyed. I'm trying to think of what what kind of strains come from Afghani. I think like Northern Lights is a pretty close Afghani descendant. Do you guys think I should build an actual house? I don't really know if I will. We could try to make a house out of bamboo. That'd be kind of cool. Nice. What the? Oh, dude. Oh, holy shit. I almost forgot that I was literally just finishing my last dab, which was far too large. We need to do a small dab here. Let's do a tiny dab of some lower quality stuff. This is a uh, papaya punch here. Not not the top tier dabs. This is a new company we got in at my job, Harvest. And I just wanted to see how it was. And it's not bad. That... One of these little chunks is going to be perfect. Sweet. Cheers, y'all. Still plenty of nighttime. I do not have an end goal. I only have one main mission right now in the game. It's to get my bread up. And to get a double chest full of bread before day 30. And then I'm hoping that you guys helped me come up with another goal. But the idea with this is for it to be an everlasting ongoing series as long as I can stay alive. I don't want there to be like something that I do and then that'll be the end of it. On the dragon or something. It's too dark. What's happening? I think I can leave this. That's it. Dude, we're, we're getting there with our crops, y'all. Just gonna keep expanding it. I think I'm just going to return this to its natural date of dirt now that I've got my nice farm kind of kicking up there so that we don't murder any more axolotls, hopefully. It's a little dark. Some of these corners. Coal is nice. Like, did I finish my dab? I did. I actually did for once. There's something called the D to T ratio. If you've ever watched Invest in Hedies, they talk about the dab to temp ratio, which applies universally across all concentrates and forms of dabbing in my opinion. It's not exclusive to dabbing on a terp slurper with a heady rig and banger or anything like that, if you ask me. And that ratio essentially is just that the bigger of a dab you do, the hotter you gotta get it, the more heat you're gonna have to use. So if you watched last night, we'll know that you got. You might have to go back and watch the first episode if you missed it last night. It was pretty crazy. If you look right through there, there's a crazy freaking cave down here. And I'm going to make this water, my farm, lead into there. 
So I think I'm eventually going to have that water drop down there in there too, but I don't want to do it quite yet. This is going to be epic. So that's where I'm taking this water right now, is like in that direction. Alright. I gotta be careful. Rain is kind of sketchy in this game. Crops coming ready to harvest on the regular. So soon I'm going to start to get more seeds. Then I'll have dirt to plant it on. So I'm trying to like stay ahead of that curve essentially here. By creating the farmland before it's needed. I should probably cook up all this random cobble that I'm creating. Might as well. So if I do this, uh, no, I think I'd just go down one more. You need steel or iron to make a shield in this game, right? Something I like never do, but I should actually take advantage of that shit if I want this series to go the distance. All right. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm just gonna mirror over here for now. I'm not super concerned about how anything looks. But I do like things to look nice. Oh shoot. Night time. Dab time. Anybody ready to rip something with me? Is it actually already that time? Day five. So far so good. Everything's feeling good. Very good. Boom. Alright, why not? Hit me with it, Hal. First show. That's fucking exciting. Hell yeah. I got some mini starburst. Oh fuck. I just heard a skeleton. What's everybody smoking on? Alright, just clearing out, heating up the residue of the last dab so we can Q-tip it out. Let's see. We'll level up from wax to live resin here. Let's do some cherry pie Gorilla Glue for This stuff's not bad. This is our dab for day number five here, aka dab number six of the series. <laughs> Boy. Cheers. The dab might have been too large. I forgot how to alt, I just remembered how to alt tab in Minecraft without the game pausing. Holy fuck, you have to pull up the inventory. I can't believe I forgot how to do that. Now I know how to, because when I do my little melt shots, I have to click on OBS in order for my foot pedal to work. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. All right, let's get our chest. All right, this is the special chest that we will be filling completely full of bread. Let us harvest. I'm gonna keep expanding. We're just gonna keep expanding it. Excuse me. We'll keep going until I run out of dirt. Let's just do that. Make sure that'll get watered eventually. Hydrated. Right here. Oh, thanks, Ashlar. Have a good day, bro. My first bread. Oh, fuck. This chest is huge. Damn. What's one, two, fuck. One, two. Three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six by nine? Fucking math. That's what, 54? 54 times 64? Hold on. That's how much I need. 54 times 64? That's how much bread I need? In 30 days? Fuck. <laughs> Shit. I gotta up my production big time. Holy fuck. Why did I give myself such a difficult task? That's why I don't have any other <laughs> goals right now. Just gotta get my bread up. I'm trying to fucking focus. I'm gonna try to get a bunch of seeds here. Oh yeah. Kind of been goofing around until now. Now it's go time. Now that I did that math, oh my god. 16, that's solid. Not this way. What's up, dude that smokes? You gotta notice that I'm on tight? How's it going, man? I'm doing a hardcore Minecraft series here where I do a dab every night, which nightfall comes every 20 minutes. So we'll be dabbing here in like 7 minutes, I think. You're smoking and chilling? Same. What you smoking on right now? I'm trying to get my bread up. My goal is to fill this chest full of bread 
before 30 days. I'm on day six right now. So, really gotta start making shit happen. Three dabs an hour. It's about how much I usually smoke when I'm streaming, so. Why do I have three half broken shovels? This is fucking annoying. I need her. See, I'm actually trying to focus up right now. I gotta fucking. I gotta grow so much wheat going Farmer Jack until nightfall, and then I become Dabber Jack. My true nature. It's unleashed by the fell moon. Or any moon, actually. I guess the moon's always full in Minecraft, so it works out. Okay. I think I can go one more over here. You go. Almost out of dirt. I'm gonna need some more soon. So what are you smoking on right now, dude? Let's do this side now. How long till next dab? Where's the sun at? Two minutes. The sun's starting to go down. This has been my dabbing corner. I just sit in this corner and smoke. Yep. Night has fallen. We've got lots of crops in the ground. Life's good, man. That's good. Now we just need this shit to grow. And keep expanding. I need to get more dirt here soon. Right. We just did a dab of cherry pie, Gorilla Glue 4. And we also are... Dab before that was some papaya punch. Before that was white 99. Let's do a super tasty, yummy birthday dab here with a dude that smokes. Oh, because it's 420 in a second. I got this gram of dabs from my girlfriend for my birthday. This is one of my favorite companies here in Colorado called Mighty Melts. And these terps are absolutely incredible. Swing! Super cool packaging. They got the pop vac seal jar. This is strawberry guava, straw nana, and papaya. Which papaya, I think, is just my favorite like, fruity strain out there, period. We're not going to do a crazy big dab here. It don't take much. And <clears throat> with the frequency that I'm dabbing, I keep trying to do too big of dabs. I'm already pretty stoned. And I'm heating up. Cheers, yo. I don't know, it's so, so tasty. It's so hard not to do a big, huge dab of it. I just want to smoke it all. God damn. That's right, Blue. It's 420. What do you think this is? Blue, you like Minecraft, right? I can't remember. Oh, this stuff smells so fucking good. I've also got mini Starburst. Let's just do one more tiny dab. Just one more. We're on night six here. Dab seven. Let's make dab seven a special one, because seven is a part of 710. This stuff is just too tasty, man. Cheers. This stuff tastes like fucking the tastiest juice you could ever think of. It's like grape, papaya, mango juice or something. Oh, boy. Get that bread up. Get that bread up. Gotta get that bread up. After this, we're gonna go grab a ton of dirt somewhere. Probably just gonna hollow out more of my little ravine over there. I can't remember if I tried to do that already. Alright, tis daytime. I'm super stoned. Go figure, I have got a little greedy with that last last evening. With that dab sash. It's okay though. We had a new viewer in the stream and we're still celebrating my birthday. Thick. Light it up a little bit. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how far we've come. Honestly, I think I can do it, but this challenge is actually kind of daunting. It's so much bread. It's not going to be easy. It's a fun challenge, too, because I feel like I actually kind of have to work hard and, and move quickly, move with some, some determination here, some purpose in my actions, and more efficient with it. These ones go five... One, two, three, four, five. I think I do one more. I'm gonna have to go check to see if it's nighttime here soon. I think I should. Let me. Let me get one of these rooms done. Then we'll go look. We just did a dab at 420. 
It's like 4.30 now. There's no way it's already nighttime, right? I'm just gonna do this, put it in the floor, till it out, and then we'll go check to see if it's night. Got anybody in the stream that's ready to go round number... What is this? Four of the session today? Blam. Nope, still daytime. Cool. I'm just getting ahead of myself. Man, I've been working so hard. It's gotta be any time for another dab. <laughs> Shit. Too funny. We're making moves. How far are you going? So my goal, Blue, is to get a double chest full of bread before 30 days, before a month. That's the only goal I've set for myself so far in this series. And I'm hoping that someone from the community will help me come up with another good goal. So if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear them. I'm not going to pick at random or anything like that. I am going to be a little bit selective because I want it to be fun and entertaining and make for some good content. But uh, right now I have a lofty goal. I think I need like 3,400 bread. And I'm seven days in. So I'm like quarter of the way through. And I have 13 out of 3,000. But right now we're in production mode. We're getting that. We're getting the ba Take a dab after every what? I'd be open to stuff like that. But I'm already dabbing so much. It would have to be pretty selective or something. It could be like something like do a terp slurper dab after you kill your first enderman or something. That could be cool. 120 chickens following you around at all all at once. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I, dude, I like that for maybe month month two. By day 60, try to have 420 chickens follow me at once. That's a pretty fun goal. Pretty creative. Thank you, Blue. If you could comment that on this YouTube video once it goes up, or maybe I'll comment it and let people, give people the opportunity to upvote it if they like it, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Go through the comments, guys, of these videos as I post them to look for challenge ideas and thumbs up the ones you like, thumbs down the ones you think would be lame. And it, right now I'm not looking for like a ton. I'm really just looking for like one more goal. I'm looking for longer, bigger scale stuff that would make for interesting, fun content. So Blue's idea there, like I said, was pretty on the money, I would say, because it's pretty ridiculous. But it seems feasible, right? I think that's possible. Doesn't sound too crazy. It sounds really hard to count that, probably. Kind of in autopilot right now. Oh fuck, is it nighttime yet? I'm really high. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. It is nighttime. Shit. We gotta do a dab. <coughs> Who's that? What's up, Candyman? What's going on, brother? Not much, man. I'm doing? just about to do a dab. I actually got my rosin press in today. Damn, that looks really pretty, man. That was uh, some special K. I'm actually gonna do another press. That I was flour? You press flour to make that? Yeah. Damn, that's really clean looking. That was at 180. I'm gonna do a press at 165 of some uh, pineapple kush. Dude, that's so fun, man. I can't wait to get a press one day. Kosher kush here. It's a great OG kush cross. Dude, this dab is too big. That's too big. Oh, but last time it didn't. Anytime I do a, my normal size dab during this series, I'm like, it's too big. But then I try to do a smaller dab, and I'm like, that's too small. <laughs> I'm just this series uh, is just built for me to to suffer a little bit. I think. Cheers, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna be heating up. Cheers. And by suffer, I mean be happy and be super stoned and have fun. But my throat might be a little scorchy. That's all. Cheers, my dude. Ooh, some Minecraft. Yeah. Gardening. Is that what you're doing? Yes, sir. Farming, gardening. Get my bread up. There you go. Going heavy on the wheat game. I'm a wheat farmer. Trying to get create a double chest full of wheat before my first 30 days in the game. And every night I do a dab. Right now I'm on day 7. And Very I have nice. 13 bread to my name. And I have to... I did the math. I need 3,470 something to fill up this chest. So it's going to be tight. Picking. I just doubled my bread though from 13 to 24. 2024, nice. let's go. 
Getting that bread up, getting that bread up. Candy man, do you know what I mean when I say get that bread up? Nope. It's like talking about money. Get more money. Gotcha. I gotta get more money. So it's like I'm doing oh, this because I <laughs> exactly I need to do it in real life and in the game. So I'm figuring if maybe I can do it in Minecraft real good, I can somehow find a way to do it in real life too. Let me know when you figure it out. Dude, right now I'm literally in the process of figuring out. I've got these great little grow rooms that I'm working on. Very nice. So, we're on our way. Got a nice water flow going too. Oh shit, we've done it. Look, Candy Man, this is what I was hoping. That we would break into the ceiling of this cave. This shit's crazy. Okay, I think I'm gonna bring the water this way. I know nothing of Minecraft. Never, never tried it. How do you beat the game? You this is one of those games where you kind of make objectives. There's really not a given way to to play oh, necessarily, yeah. especially in the beginning. Like over time, they added all these like quests and achievements and stuff for you to do that kind of like stuff to do. But in the beginning of the game, it was just kind of like those raw sandbox games that you just play around in and kind of you can create your own fucking yeah. shit. He's in here. So this is like your base. Pretty much, yeah. I don't really have much of a base. I'm pretty much just living in a cave and trying to grow as much wheat as possible right now so to meet my quest of having a ton of bread in 30 days. Whereas most other people would be like looking for diamonds or like trying to build some crazy cool house or go kill a dragon or get all sorts of different armor. Nope, all I want to do is get as much wheat as possible right now. How many different characters have you made throughout your Minecraft? I would say it's more about like how many different worlds you've played on. Because your characters don't necessarily have like any sort of stats or anything like that. It's all about just like the environment well, no, and the world that you're playing in. But yeah, I've played in. No, I've played this game since I was like a freshman in high school. So I've played this game on and off for like 12, 13 years. Probably hundreds, if not thousands, of different worlds over the years. Yeah, so that's always new. Minecraft is like a very philosophical game in my opinion, like how you play it reflects the way you view the world in many ways, the way you go about the world. Interesting. I have no idea about it. This music is awesome. Oh fuck, it might be nighttime. it might be dab time. There's a thing you can make in the game that is like technically like watch helps you know where the sun is so once I get one of those, I don't have to stay as near the surface and worry about it as much, but for now, I need to stay pretty close to the surface. That's why... That's why the... the... wheat is a good one, because it keeps me in one place. And it's kind of interesting, because you can compare it to why we originally oh, settled so down important. as as a human species. Because we used to be like hunters and gatherers, but then we learned how to like, create crops and like, create food efficiently without having to rely on like transient species running around but it forces you to stay in one place and like value resources water and sunlight and like good soil so i'm gonna do another dab of kosher kush for what is this this is we're on day day eight the bread is moving the bread is flowing as someone who likes to create content usually by myself Getting good at kicking people out of a Discord call is is something I've had to get good at, which sucks. So I think we cut, we forward and cut right. What the fuck, yo? Okay. After 35, you've already got the plan set, huh? The health plan. The regimen. Where the fuck am I? What the fuck is happening? Alright, I'm just trying to like, go into the cave here, and it's not really working how I want it to. Okay. E. Coal. Need some of that shit. Good stuff. Oh, fucking. Fucking fuck. I'm just gonna try to create like a hip cascading farm as we continue down here. I'm gonna just grab all this coal here. Diana, have you... do you use Reddit? I just recently found the 
AVB and ABV. They're interchangeable, I guess, subreddits. And they're both great resources. Like so. <clears throat> Continue the farm like in here. That's no good. I hear a skeleton. That's also no good. Oh, I have 55 seeds on me right now. Holy shit. We need a plant. Do we have a full stack of bread yet? No. Every time I put more bread in there, though, I'm, I've been doubling. So we're, like, growing exponentially. Just need to try to keep this rate of expansion. Boom, boom. I was thinking of asking my old store. I can't remember if they ship bongs or not, but we could, like, go shopping for together at my old store. All right, I'm kind of losing my focus here. I need to make a little inventory space. Yeah, it was not good. I did it. It was real bad. Yeah, I officially a ton of seeds, and now I need to focus on making more grow rooms. Cause I was expanding real fast, but then I broke into the cave, and now I'm kind of, kind of stagnating. I think, I think it's gonna literally continue my same system into the wall here. And just keep scaling. Day nine. It might be dab time. Fuck. We gotta get up there. Let me just. Get some more wheat planted. Just one more row. Go, 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 go. Okay. Dude, the expansion is happening. It certainly is. It's night time. It's dab time. Who's smoking with me? I think this will be my last dab of this session. We did what? We did four dabs the first time. Now we're on dab five or six, I think. So I think I'm going to try to make the sessions, play sessions continuously. Because, yeah, this is five or six. For this session now. Fuck, I didn't finish my last dab, really. Shit. We got some work to do. Some breath work. Happy 420 West Coast. We're heating up. This is going to be the last dab of this episode, everybody. Episode 2 of Dab Craft. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. It's time to dab it up. What shall we dab for the final dab? Did we already do a dab of the soap? Probably. Let's do another one anyway. The soap from AO Extracts. A live batter. What makes something a live batter? It means it's made from fresh frozen plant material. Fresh frozen stuff. <sighs> the soap. Holy fuck, there's a creeper over there. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, and a skeleton. Oh, God, what's happening? I'm not supposed to fight bad guys? Oh, God. <coughs> Face our fears. Try to kill this guy. You fucking... You fucking... You bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Let's go. Conquered our fear of creepers that we can see. Still fucking scared of the ones I can't see. Okay. Dude, I've been incredibly lucky with how few problems I've had to deal with so far. Knock on wood. Holy crap. Hopefully we can keep that going and get my bread up. I almost have a full stack. Are we there? Excuse me. I want to grow some trees in here. ADHD. Oh god, the fucking the stone popping out of the ground kind of scared me. Boom. For a rainy day. Boom, boom, boom. Get a buttload of seeds, which is pretty epic. Yeah, I'm actually I'm, at, I'm saturated with seeds now. I'm probably never gonna write, run out now unless I can suddenly make a huge farm. I accidentally lost my first wheat there, I think. So far, I've been a very diligent farmer and efficient as far as like not fucking up my crops though. So that's pretty good when you think about it. We've got so much wheat. Wheat farm. I was a baby. I don't know. I don't think that. So that is going to be the end of this episode, I think. Yeah, there's not much to do down here. I don't I don't really want to make more farms right now. I'm kind of farmed out for, for the day. So we'll call this episode. Let's go make sure it's daytime. And we'll end it as we start day 10 of Dabcraft. Trying to get our current quests. Trying to get our bread up. Yeah, it's daytime. Sick. Um... I wanted to ask, comment or say comment below if you think I'm gonna fulfill this quest, dude. We've got one, we're one fifty fourth of the way there because we've got one stack of bread now.